That's how the now the official cause of death for a mentally ill subway rider who was harassing passengers and then was restrained by a marine. The announcement coming tonight for the medical examiner says Jordan Neely's neck was compressed during the encounter. The Manhattan DA's office says it has not decided yet whether to press charges against the Marine. New York Mayor Adams on CNN tonight taking issue with City Comptroller Brad Lander, who wants the Marine prosecuted. I don't think that's very responsible at the time where we're still investigating the situation. We have so many cases where passengers assist of other riders, uh, and we don't know exactly what happened here. The encounter happened Monday afternoon. Eyewitnesses say Neely was acting erratically to others, but not directly threatening the Marine. Now, now, however, much debate about the role of bystanders getting involved in potentially dangerous situations. A mass shooting in Atlanta. The takedown coming after someone in the community recognized him from his photo and called 911. An undercover officer was the one that originally saw and confronted this individual and was able to then have backup from uniform officers that came in and took him into custody without without incident. Police say this afternoon the gunman walked into a medical facility with his mother where he had an appointment. He became agitated and then started shooting, killing one woman and wounding four others. KJ Johnson was on the floor below. There was a few, like a few single popping, you know, it just sound like maybe someone's motorcycle backfired or something. Female shot, she seriously bleeding. Shot the police say the suspect got away by carjacking a vehicle, triggering a massive police pursuit into nearby Cobb County. People were told to shelter in place while the search went on. What is going on? They're running. They all have shields and giant guns. Police say a sophisticated camera network in the city, plus a vigilant public team to help make the arrest. Technology played a huge role, but technology doesn't do any good without people who are determined to capture an individual that would do something like this. This was the 190th mass shooting in the U.S. this year, but it's only the 123rd day of 2023. There have been so many mass shootings, in fact, about one every day in this country this year, that tragically we act as if this is routine. Now, the woman killed in Atlanta was 39 years old. The four other women who were shot are hospitalized in critical condition. Their ages range from 71 to 25. In the news from Dick Brennan, CBS. Desiree Anderson inside the room at the OIO Hotel last night before she headed up to the roof. Investigators are trying to determine if she fell or she jumped. Griffin also charged with endangering their eight-month-old daughter. The couple was visiting from Colorado where Desiree's mother spoke to us tonight by telephone. She had a lot going for herself. She was a model and she had a nursing career um, and she loved her baby. She never had mentioned anything about them having any issues in their relationship or anything like that. But um, now that this is all unfolding, uh, I guess it turns out that this isn't the first time that he was physically abusive to her. Just also tragic. The couple's baby now in the care of the city's administration for children's services. The Derby are being overshadowed tonight by the deaths of four horses at its home, the Churchill Downs racetrack. Racetrack officials calling the deaths, we're quoting now, unacceptable and troubling. The four horses died in separate incidents over the last week. Two trained by the same horsemen collapsed from unknown causes. Two others were euthanized after suffering musculoskeletal injuries. Churchill Downs says it's working with regulators to, quoting now, conduct swift and thorough investigations.